In this exhibit, we cover four basic categories of iron, pig iron, cast iron, wrought iron, and tin sheet iron. Uh, with the exception of pig iron, the other three types would have been used to make domestic equipment. Almost anything could be made out of wrought iron. It's the most malleable form of iron. Sheet iron would have been used for domestic equipment to make uh, well, very thin things like lanterns or certain types of cooking wares in the household. Heating devices were cast iron, uh, things like stove plates, firebacks, and very often cooking pots were cast iron. Many of the items in the exhibit would have taken relatively little time to make. Uh, wrought iron, if worked by a masterful blacksmith, could be sort of beaten into shape relatively quickly. And even something like a, a very fancy looking cast iron fireback would have been created itself very quickly as soon as the molten iron filled the mold. But carving of the pattern to produce that beautiful fireback would have been time consuming. So when you figure all of this in, uh, very often the, the actual process of making the actual object is very quick, but the preparation is, is quite a bit longer. Even though it may be tempting to look at some of the items in this exhibit and think of them as decorative pieces, because to us they look like decorative pieces, everything in this exhibit does have a function, whether it's a heating device, a piece of kitchen equipment, or even a doorstop. George Washington over there looks like a statue, but he's not. He's actually a radiator. So this giant piece of cast iron would have been in the middle of somebody's parlor radiating heat. He would have sat on an iron stove in which uh, a fire would have been built. The heat would have uh, risen up into President Washington and kept the room warm for hours, even long after the fire went out. They are all functional, but they're all beautiful, and they're all pieces of art in their own right, which is why they were chosen for this exhibit.